Minecraft is just too easy. There's only one game that is a true test of skill. A game that separates the boys from the men, the humans from the pigs, the most influential scientific discovery of our era. The Bop It. And while this is amazing on its own, what if you could control Minecraft with it? When I move my mouse, I look around. When I press W, I go forward. When I press A, I go left. Disgusting. There's no real challenge to this. Technoblade, it's clear that a true gamer such as yourself would desire more out of a video game than simple controls such as this, as you made evident in your beating Minecraft with this steering wheel video from a few years back. I'm going to convert this boppet into a Minecraft controller so that you can do the same thing once again. Technoblade, this is the finished boppet. As you can see, it looks almost exactly like a normal boppet, except it has the micro USB port on the bottom right there. There. As soon as I opened this up, I was pleasantly surprised with how easy the electronics portion of this project would be. All of the buttons, knobs, and protuberances coming out of this boppet connect through internal mechanisms to simple buttons. This meant that all I needed to do was cut out the old boppet control board and replace it with the Raspberry Pi Pico. It is effectively a miniature computer that I can program to act as a keyboard and mouse. Additionally, I added this small blue board. This is an accelerometer and it allows me to find the angle of the boppet, which I'm using to control the player's movements. After soldering the Raspberry Pi Pico into to the boppet, I cut a slot in the speaker grill to have access to the micro USB port. I also 3D printed this small plastic piece that interfaces with geometry on the boppet speaker grill as a mount to glue the Raspberry Pi Pico 2. So Technoblade, that is all of the mechanical and electronic elements of this boppet controller. This means that all that's left is the programming, but because programming is boring, I'm not going to show you any of that. Instead, if you're interested, I'm going to talk a little bit about the vector math that went into the zeroing function. The zeroing function is a function that allows you to set the resting position of the boppet, where twisting relative to that position moves the player. So Technoblade, if you're not interested in becoming as confused as I was doing this math, then I suggest skipping to the part indicated by the arrow at the bottom of the screen. If you do choose to stick around, I'm glad, because this is actually pretty interesting. Due to the haphazard mounting of the accelerometer, I knew that none of its axes aligned with the axes of the boppet. In order to account for this error, I put the boppet perfectly flat on a table and then ran a program that printed the accelerometer's output. As you can see, this is an XYZ vector of the Earth's gravitational acceleration when the boppet is flat. This gives me a vector that comes straight out of the back of the boppet. I'm calling this the normal vector. When you took the boppet to its resting position and you trigger the re-zeroing function, it saves a snapshot of the Earth's gravitational acceleration at that point. By taking the cross product of this gravitational acceleration and the normal vector coming out of the back of the boppet, we can define the x-axis. We know that this x-axis is parallel with the ground because by nature of the cross product, it is at a right angle with the gravitational acceleration. At this point, we can ignore the normal vector coming out of the back of the boppet and take the cross product of the x-axis and the gravitational acceleration snapshot vector. This defines the y-axis. Now that we have our axes defined, all that we need to do is update the gravitational acceleration vector as the boppet tilts and find the vector projection of this vector on the x and y axes. The vector projection of these vectors on the x and y axes is basically the shadow this vector would cast on those axes. As the angle increases, so does the vector projection value. Luckily, this vector projection is very easy to calculate using a mathematical function called a dot product, and the code does this every single time it loops. This vector projection value is then used to control the W, A, S, D movements or mouse movements of the player. And with that, let's get right into the gameplay. The controls are actually quite simple. You can steer by tilting the boppet and then to walk, you can press the front boppet button toggling it into walk mode. This allows you to move around by tilting the boppet where you want to go. Right click is controlled by spinning the orange wheel on the right and left click is controlled by the yellow knob on the left. To move in the hopper, simply pull the top green knob to move right and the bottom blue knob to go left. To toggle your inventory, you can hold the green and blue buttons down for one second. To jump, press the boppet button on the back of the boppet. To toggle shift, you can press the purple button near the center of the boppet. Lastly, to reset Toad at a comfortable zero position, you can hold down left and right click for three seconds. If you've liked this video so far, please subscribe. It's free and you can always unsubscribe. Okay, and we are in, oh, and we are in the world. Okay, so due to my previous failures, um, and then I also need four for the boots, so then we're at nine. Oh, silverfish, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm I'm not doing well, and this is against silverfish. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I gotta look down, but I gotta keep running. I gotta look down, but I gotta keep running. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk over here while I'm running back. Look down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
nope. 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 No. I've come up with a plan for this new world. Nope. Oh gosh. Even cutting this tree is hard. So yeah, my first goal is to get stone tools. I'm gonna mine some wood and I'm gonna get some stone tools. And then then I can use the stone tools to kill some animals. Once I've successfully killed some animals and gotten some food, I can then go mining for iron and probably not leave underground until I have enough to have full iron armor. Grab this and move it up and place. And place, 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 and place, place. Okay. Enable shift and take. Let's at least get everything required for stone axe and the stone pick. Oh, and okay. Okay, that's six stone. We're gonna call it good for now. I'm sorry, Technoblade, for what I'm about to do. Uh, nope. Oh, I missed. Okay. Turn around and don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Nope. I missed. Charge it up. Nope. I missed. Oh. 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 Okay. That was just delayed. Nope. Nope. Let's go. I think I'm going to avoid caves as much as I can. Uh. Because that that looks dangerous. Uh, that just nah. Nah. Here, piggy, piggy, piggies. Oh, sheep, look at that. Let's go. Nope. Okay. Nope. Uh. Die. Die. And. Die. Okay, let's quickly grab this coal. Ow. Chickens. Chickens are good. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, it's becoming night. Uh, take this chicken. Iron. Let's go. Uh, here, let's make a furnace. Let's go! It may not look like it, but this is a big dub right here. Okay, we have iron armor. We have a shield that I have to equip. I was worried that I accidentally walk or dig into a terrible cave and just get surrounded. Not even be the like fight back at all because I'll be either looking or running the wrong way. Boop, boop. Go. This is so good right now. Oh yes, army bars are filling up. Look at that, full iron armor and a shield and an iron pick that's more than half dead. Let's go. <gasps> Diamonds, yes. Let's go. It's at least, is it just a single diamond? Uh, Let's hope it's more than one. Yes, okay, we're at least two. One, yes, yes, this is actually a big vein, let's go! This is an eight vein, yes! Make sure we got him. I don't know, okay, I do know why that happens, but we're just gonna pretend I don't. Eight diamonds, okay. I'm heading back. Okay, so I'm gonna kill these sheep, and then I'll probably go off in search of a desert. Or any lava pool, really. Most likely that will be in a desert. 
No. Come on, come on. No, no. Move in a bit and yeah. Yes, stay there, stay there. Yes, you're fine. Nope. Okay, just don't move. Yes. Okay, stop moving. Okay, chicken. Good, good. You're safe. No! No, you're perfect. I, I promise you're safe. No, chicken. Chicken. It's calm. You perfectly. See? You perf there we go. Come on. We are looking for a desert. Oh gosh. It's so hard to steer this stupid boat. What is this? Is that a lava pool? Is it? Yes! Finally! A uh, diamond pick. We did it! Diamond pick! This is gonna take a while. Oh. And 20. Last two blocks. And it is done. Light, let's go! Okay, this is... This is so much further than I made it in all of the other ones. Okay. Let's move out. Oh gosh, this is not ground. Okay, wait, actually. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to be in this biome. Okay. I'm so going to fall into a lava pit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 